What's gone wrong with this build? Pretty much everything that could. Hi Len here. We've got the pre-roof inspection later on today and we have had issues with pretty much every component of this build so far. The foundation was slightly out of square so we've had to have that fixed. The pre-nail frames and trusses were both wrong both in detailing and some minor fabrication issues. The architect has made some changes and a little mistake. Let's rewind six weeks and take a look. So in about two hours we stood all these frames. When we were doing some of the internal walls we were missing a few measurements. So I called the frame and truss detailer and he emailed me through those measurements. And once we had them all stood we noticed an issue. So we've got a wardrobe going into the laundry slash bathroom and the bedroom on the other side doesn't have the wardrobe it should have. So there's a bit of a difference between the consented plans and the frame and truss layout. Of course, the detailer, unfortunately they don't have anyone spare to come and fix it until next week. So they're going to deliver us some replacement frames and we'll quickly put them in ourselves. Right, if you can whack out these wings and denail the stud, it'll come straight out. measurement so I've been in adding him the last couple of weeks doing the cladding there I was here on or off first four frames were stood I wasn't here for that at all the trusses have been stood and a lot of them have been replaced already because they were too short where they tie into the hip at the top the two hip trusses are also wrong but we can make them work just by cutting the diagonal that should have been there at the top and there's one truss that even though it's been replaced is still wrong where it sits above a wall and because it ties into the hip we can't move it left or right so we've notched out that wall as much as we can and we're just going to have to notch out our purlins to the detail is also stuffed up a few small rafters so the one at the apex is wrong it should look like this and there's another one near the lower end of the hip which is too low so we'll cut a new one to slot in there as well there's a couple of walls above the stairwell the walls don't line up so the result is that you have a little 200 odd mil lip that's completely wasted space at the front of both units we have a 600 mil feet which means that we need outriggers to hang over our gable frames but our gable frames are too high so i'm going to get some new ones made get the boys to tear these ones down and hopefully get them replaced today so many issues on this job There goes our rubbish. We've got a birthday party tomorrow, but if it's at like midday or something, you're coming for like half an hour. Yeah, sorry. You're giving me more of a team team spirit vibe, so I'm more than happy to come in and give you a hand. Come here and hold it. Yep. Huh? I'm gonna come to you. Yeah. What's happening here? Oh yeah, I'll fix them together shortly. I am supposed to be working on a few other things, but I'm just trying to stay ahead of these guys so that when they finish all the fixings, they can get on with something else. So in this case, I'm setting up the Berlin's. Logo's sweet cheeks. I wish I haven't been called that in ages. Have a good day. There you go, boys. For the butanol roof up there that goes over the firewall, we need to get that firewall plumb first. And that also means that we can get the eco ply bracing that's going along the front wall in. So I've got Ree just putting in the handy bracks to get that all square and then we can plumb up with the laser, get the top fixed where it needs to be. Today's mission is to sort out this butanol roof.
The paper plans, which are consented, are newer than the digital plans, and the digital plans show the wall height being lower. So I've got to go off the paper plans, but I'm missing the two pages that show the elevations, so I can't confirm whether that's correct or not. We're just going to smash out Berlin's and hardware today until I get some word on what's happening up the front. Good times. The boys both left a while ago and we managed to get most of this back face done, it's just that top corner there. So I'm hoping in the next hour or so before I need to go I can get that done as well. Days, I've been framing up this eugenol roof. So as I suspected, this wall was too high. So this wall's been cut down. Fascia's also gone on. They brought it too low here. So they're going to have to come back and figure out how to change that. I'm not sure how they do that. I form the catchment where the drain goes down to the bottom. And all of this has a three degree angle on it. While I had the firewall here, I set up a laser, pinged the chalk line on there, and then set my height off that and cut the wall off. I've got most of the base done now. I need to build the sides. So according to the architect's detail, I need ply going up the side, so I need to frame out to support that. And then I've got Berlin, and then more ply above that. This takes ages. It's taken me two days to frame this out. boss has just turned up so he's going to give me a hand cutting so I'll just be measuring and putting in. I think over there they're building a BMX track or something for the school. I worked on that school by the way. I boxed up here for the strip drain back before all the star seal was in there and it's a concrete slab under here that I deboxed. So basically I built the entire place. some details to finish over at the back there and at the front there bats to put in jibs to put in and miscellaneous fixings purlins still a lot to do That's enough for the day. Daylight savings over, so uh, it's gonna be dark in an hour or so. How depressing. Anyway, a lot of progress today. Inspection tomorrow. Still a few fixings and things for Andrew to do. Some blocking, some purlin screws. It's a few little things, and we'll do a walk around in the morning and have a look see. It's taken us six weeks to get here. It's been a lot of stress for me, a lot of issues, but we made it. We've had our inspection and we have passed. So roofing starts tomorrow. Thanks very much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Cheers. That's just lovely. All we need now is for it to stop raining so that we can get the rest of the roof on.